I pressed through it so you can see you can see the title of it, right? So we're gonna take all of the pressures, everything that happened in 2019, man, and use we're gonna rearrange the words, I pressed on. So we're not letting no depression beat us. We're not letting none of that stuff beat us, man. So so we just gonna jump right in, right? So okay, life didn't go how I expected it to go in 2019, but guess what? I'm still living. I pressed on. I didn't make as much money as I thought I was gonna make. I didn't make as much money as I wanted to make, but guess what? I pressed on. Um, I didn't get the house I wanted to get. I uh, the family that I got, not the family that, that I see, but guess what? I pressed on. Uh, people tried to break me and didn't break me. Did not break me. I pressed on. Oh, man, people tried to manipulate me, manipulate situations, try to guilt trip me, try to make me do stuff that I really didn't do or try to make me think that I was a person that... I was a person that they seen of me, not the person that I knew I was. I pressed on. Um, I start seeing people for who they were and not who I wanted them to be. I pressed on. I had to lose friends, had to lose family, had to stay away from certain situations, had to pull back from certain stuff, had to stop doing some of the stuff that I was doing uh, in the past when people was taking advantage of me. I pressed on. Uh, man, look, my business, I started my business. I didn't make it. Uh, it didn't go as big as I thought it was going to go, but at least guess what? I made the first step. I pressed on. I didn't let it break me, man. Situation that was supposed to break me. Situation that was supposed to discourage me. Situation that was supposed to make me second guess my life or second guess my decisions. I pressed on. All this stuff, man. Depression. Depression. I pressed on. I'm not a victim of depression. I pressed on. Like, even when, when stuff looked at dark and it was gloomy and I couldn't see my way out and I'm in a tunnel and I, I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I pressed on. That's for everybody, man. Not just for me, man. This is this is not just a personal thing. This is for everybody. 2019 been rough for a lot of people, man. I've been seeing people on Facebook, people that I know personally, man, people that I'm around, and, and situations, man. And, and, and 2019 was a little rough for all of us, man. Like, I learned a lot in 2019. I learned about uh, patience. I learned about uh, resilience. I learned about trusting God's process over minds. I learned about loss. You know, I learned about uh, trusting my intuition more than than I trust anything else and really just like getting to know and trusting that energy, get, trusting that feeling and making decisions that I had to make. Not that I that not that not uh, I wanted to make necessarily, but I had to make. I pressed on. 2019 was a lot of stuff of just gathering information, gathering information and, and making sound decisions, making the right decisions for me, my family and the people that are around to me, the people that are connected to me, man, with whatever type of blessings that's going around like everything 2019 showed me a lot man in 2019 I'm not gonna say that oh man 2019 it was a hell of a year man, 2019 it was man it, it was probably if I had to say it as to date right now and I don't want it to be no other year like that I went through so much hell or stuff like that as I did in 2019 2019 probably was the worst year that I lived so far you know what I mean but guess what I pressed on I'm still living me and my family you know we're lost man with, with, with everything with with business up and down um, and, and, and trying to keep a sound mind and just trying to stay positive about stuff stop stop Focusing on the negative, man, I pressed on. You know what I mean? And so many other people did too. Like, give yourself credit for what you pressed on for. Don't give yourself, don't give, don't beat yourself up or be, get down in the dumps, man, because of depression, because certain stuff didn't happen how you thought it was going to happen. You know, guess what? I wanted to get married. Oh, I, I wanted to move into a house. I wanted to get a car. I wanted to um, I wanted to start a business. Guess what? As long as you make those steps to do those things, man, you pressed on. Don't let none of that stuff beat you. Man, look, all these certain situations that was trying to break you, snap your head, break your will, break your faith, break everything. It was trying to break you, but guess what? It didn't break you because you're still here. I pressed on. Remember that, man, like I pressed on. Nothing can do, nothing can, nothing can break us that we don't let break us. Nothing can happen to us that we don't allow to happen to us or God allow it to happen to us. And it's going to be for two reasons. It's going to be for a lesson right. or a blessing. So man. you can say, oh man, through all the hell and all the, the, the hot fire I've been through, man, the, the confusion, man, the, the manipulation, all that stuff, man, I pressed on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not just me, but for everybody. When I say I, I'm talking about in general, man. So when you go through situations of, of uh, people being two-faced, then what? Like, man, so what? They did what Whatever they did, they hurt you, they hurt your feelings or whatever. You got to see who they really were, right? So I pressed on um, for all the manipulation for people pretending to be something that they're not or pretending to be someone that they're not. I pressed on. 
for all the hell you've been through, man. Like for for a a a, a job or whatever that that you thought you was going to get, a promotion you thought you was going to get, or if you started the business and it didn't go as 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 good as you thought it was going to go, I pressed on because as long as you can keep waking up, man, you can keep adding on to whatever it was, whatever your shortcomings was, whatever all that stuff was. I pressed on, so don't use your depression no more as a as an excuse. Now, granted, I get it. You know, some people are, are clinically depressed and stuff like that, but do other things, man. Where you can say, I pressed on. I pressed on. Don't use that as an excuse, man. So for 2020, man, we're not making no more excuses. We're just making adjustments, right? So for for uh, the friends or the family that you thought you was tight with or you had to lose or you had to separate from in order for you to grow, I pressed on. You can go back and do you can go back and get those relationships back if it's the if it's in the right, if it's in God's plan for you, right? Or whatever you believe in. If it's in the plan, you can go back and rekindle those relationships. But if they not, if they not worth salvaging. Just I pressed on, know that it's for the best, it's for your better, man. Whatever moves you had to make, man, that you were scared of, whatever moves you had to make, man, that you was uner that you was nervous about, you was unsure about, I pressed on. So if if someone mistreated you, man, well, you were in a relationship or whatever the case may be, that person didn't value as much as they needed to value. You had to separate, you had to go your own way, man. You had to do what you had to do. I pressed on through everything, man. Nobody else manipulating us, nobody else taking advantage of us, nobody else. I was doing none of that stuff so 2019 was a rough year and i'm speaking for myself now right 2019 was a rough year for me and my family man so in 2019 i learned i learned patience right i learned that um to trust my intuition uh with certain people with certain situations right i learned uh resilience you know my business something you know was up and down um but um the last part of it man to start being a little bit more consistent right I get to grow from that, right? Um, I lost people, family members, uh, close friends, friends that I watched grow up and stuff like that, whether it was in death or whether, you know, like our, 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 our energies wasn't just meant to be be around each other or with each other anymore, man. I pressed on and I learned a lot of stuff in 2019. So the stuff that I learned in 2019, I'm going to apply this stuff in 2020, man. And for, for here on out, man, that clear vision, 2020 vision, man, I'm going to do the best thing that I can do for me and for the people around me, man. So for uh, for 2020, man, I see everything clear, man, the 2020 vision, right? So um, 2019, like I say, man, it was a year of, you know, turmoil. It was a year of confusion. It was a year of realizing of certain things, realizing uh, the manipulations, realizing that um, sometimes people people can act one way and be a whole nother way. Sometimes you get uh, 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 like like family members or whatever, right? Like in, in those type of relationships, man, I really stopped looking at stuff for what it is and not what I wanted it to be. So 2019 was a year of gathering information, getting everything together, right? Getting everything together um, and assessing my life, man, and saying what's best for me and what's best for my family and what's best for the people that are immediately that's that's close to me man the people that's connected to me the people that are associated with me and whatever type of blessing i got to my life or their life man i just really took all this stuff from 2019 man and really just put it together um i'm gonna tell you about a little story right so um one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite movies, the people that know me know that one of my favorite movies of all time was Love and Basketball. So I watched it over the weekend, right? I watched it over the weekend and, and, and watching this, I looked at it with a whole different, you know, a whole different mindset. So I'm looking at it and I see like there's three very important topics in there, right? That I never noticed before. So the first topic, you know, with, with Quincy and his mother, uh, Quincy was, uh, was uh, what's my man? Omar Epps, right? That's Omar Epps, him, um, his mother and father, right? Uh, the father in the NBA, the mother of stay home mom um, and the father really taking care of everything so she really depended on him so like in certain situations you know we find ourselves uh, really having to depend on somebody or we, we think in our minds that we got to depend on this person for a better lifestyle or a better whatever right but in this movie you know she dealt, dealt with it for as long as she could dealt with it as long as she could then at the end of the day you know they got a divorce or whatever so Quincy hurt herself to hear the hospital so he asked her how have you been? She said, happy. You know, most times, most times when, when we get stuck in these situations, we get stuck in these situations and we're not happy. We're just, uh, we're just settling. We're just being content. We're being complacent, man. So um, that was one of the lessons that I learned from it, right? So like, man, look, you pressed on. You can press on for whatever it is. You don't have to depend on nobody. Whatever your spiritual relationship is, whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in, man, trust that. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. So believe in that, right? The second one was um, divine time right so in the in, in the divine timing right you know Quincy Quincy and Monica they grew up together or whatever next door or whatever but you always you know like they kind of well they're 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 common 
their common, like the thing they had in common was basketball. So they always, you know, even though they was younger, you can see that, okay, this was going to happen, but you don't know, you know, it's like it, it still has to play out. It still has to be a time, a divine time for certain things. So even though you know you met your soulmate at that early age, it still had to be some things in there that you really had to, you fight through and you learn through some stuff because life's going to teach you. It's just it's just how it happened, man. Life's going to teach you. So in that, you know, like they knew they were going to be together, whatever, whatever. Um, so, you know, they, they separated or whatever, acting growing, you know, their separate rings or whatever. So she go and pursue her basketball career. He pursue his basketball career. So they come back. You know, whatever it is, like I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, um, Anything that's meant for your life will just happen. You don't have to force it. If you have to force it, it's not the right choice. If you have to force it, it's not the right choice. So, you know, it just platonically happened. It just happened. So they come back together. She about to get married. I mean, he about to get married. And she's like, oh, man, I thought it was going to be something else. So she fall back. She's like, all right, I'm going to deal with the consequences for whatever it is, however it comes, whatever they're going to get married. But you feel something, like it's just something in you that you feel, you like, nah, man, this ain't gonna go down like that. So she ended up going to him, um, they playing, they, they play, she like, um, like, play me for my heart, play me, what are you, what am I playing for? I'm playing for your heart. Now, first of all, if you look at that, that lesson, she already won because he already agreed to play, to play the game, right? Play the game for, for his heart. So he already kind of knew that, uh, this not right, this not the right decision, right? So they play, he beat her, but then he's like, oh, double or nothing. You know, like at the end of the day, Whatever is meant for your life is going to find you. You don't have to force anything. It's going to find you for whatever. But you just got to be open-minded and you got to realize what it is when it happens, right? So, you know, they get together. So my whole thing is um, sometimes, like, we force certain things in and we force these things and it don't be the right time. And it doesn't mean that that's not right. It just don't be the right time. And then sometimes we just get stuck in this way, like, oh, well, I'm going to let my will be done. Like, no matter, you know, like, even if it's not God's will, I'm going to let my will be done. And then you God hits you, pop, oh, oh, you, you, oh, oh, my fault, God, my fault, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't get that lesson, you know what I mean? And then you keep, sometimes we keep going through the same lesson until we get what we are supposed to get out of it. Sometimes we don't get out of it, then sometimes at the end of the day it's too late when you start realizing stuff like, man, I should have been left, I should have been out this situation. But it's always a divine timing and a divine purpose for everything and everyone in your life, man. And if you really believe that, man, you will see that, man. So for let 2019 be your learning experience. Let 2020 be your clear vision, your 2020 vision for you to see what you want, for you to get what you want, and for you really to operate in the, in the realm that you're supposed to operate in, right? So look, man, so trust the mission, trust the process, don't rush the process, right? Man, focus on the mission, not the money. I swear everything will happen. Everything going to come to you that's supposed to come to you. If you got to force it, it's not the right choice. So don't force nothing, man. And just, just live life, man. New self, new wealth. So 2020, man, we all about new self, new wealth, man. So we're going to see the vision. We're going to get to the vision. We're going to do what we need to do, man, for everything, for our kids, for our family, for our business, for our spirituality, for everything, man. And don't be scared of what happens, man, because I've noticed when, when I start praying, like, God, look, man, I want whatever you got for my life, the people you want around me, um, the situation you want to put me in, I want everything you want for me. And when I start praying that prayer, you know, sometimes you get a little nervous because when you start praying that prayer, you start losing friends or people you thought was friends. You start losing other situations. You start losing the taste to be other places, man. But you got to pay attention to all that, man. So don't let nobody manipulate you with none of this. None of this, oh, we supposed to be this, that, this, that, this, that. You can feel what's supposed to happen and you ain't got to force nothing. Ain't nobody got to trick you to doing nothing. Ain't nobody got to got to uh, manipulate you or do none of that stuff, man. So I hope you like this video, man. I hope you see the value in this video. 2020, man, we just getting started, man. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better, man. We're going to have a better life, man. So uh, the rest of our life going to be the best of our life. Focus on the mission, not the money. Be prepared, not scared, man. Be prepared for everything, not scared, man. And new self, new world. 2020 vision, man. We saying everything clear, man. We saying what we want. We get what we want. We get what God got for us, man. So um, until next Tuesday, man, y'all be blessed. And I love y'all, man. Peace.